Good morning, I'm Jeff. I'm with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 1384 Trip Street Southeast here in Salem. We're located at the right side of the home. We have a three or sorry, four inch ABS clean out as our point of access. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently have water running. Here we go. Alright, the line is not looking too good here. Right off the bat, the, the pipe is almost completely full of standing water, and we have a massive root intrusion through here that's blocking up the entire line. It looks like it's, yeah, it's a looks like a totally original sewer line here. I think the, a look, looking in the crawl space, it looks like the interior pipe and a small stub coming out from the house has been updated. Uh, but 99% of the exterior line here is original. And it looks like it's terminating here at 20 feet, uh, which is definitely not the road. I'll do some locates here to see where this is headed to. Now we might have an easement, we might have a party line situation or something like that. And we'll try and get that. I'll get this marked here. I'm going to map out the entire line here from the from the clean out out to this, sec this spot right here. And I recommend replacing it. Um, I also recommend contacting the city to find out what kind of configuration we have here. Is this a party line? Uh, depending on the city or county you're in, sometimes party lines with a, with a neighbor at home is a big deal and the city does, does not allow them anymore and they make you disconnect. Uh, this could just be simply a main lateral with an easement. You know, it's running on property or something like that and it's totally fine. Uh, but you need to look into the configuration there and make sure it's conforming. Is that a repair needs to be done in a huge way. The line is ready to back up any day. Um, so it needs to be repaired. Just want to make sure you're not repairing or correcting a, a, a non-conforming configuration here. I can't remember if I mentioned it, but we've located the camera head over in the uh, neighbor's yard, the house directly to the right of this one. We're going to keep pushing out here. Again, I don't. we don't know if this is a, a party line situation or some kind of easement. And it sounds like the water to that house may be turned off right now. I can... I can just about guarantee they're connected together. We're, we're tying into this line in, ahead of where that house hooks into it. So if we don't have water, we won't be able to really see it run from that the neighbor's house. But um, their, their sewer stack is coming out of the house almost right where this line ties into the line out by their home. Uh, it just makes sense for them to, to be connected. And it looks like this, and this whole line here is also shot. We've got root balls throughout the whole thing. Here we have water catching up at the camera. We turn that back on. It'd be nice to be able to see how it flows. Because then we can have an idea of whether, if, if the grade is still okay, you can uh, do a hydro jet on the line and then do a pipeline or sleeve and avoid digging the whole thing up, but or at least parts of it. And this looks like our main lateral connection here. Okay, located the camera head out in the street. We are at six feet six inches deep here. And uh, you'd have to contact the city. There's a good chance that the, the pipe out in the street is the city's responsibility. I don't know if that's going to be homeowner or not there. You have to look into that. But the street portion here is clay and is actually still looking pretty damn good and flowing properly. This is probably right here at the street curb about where it transitions over from from concrete, but I do have the uh, connection at the main marked with a, it's kind of a Y looking connection out in the street at six feet, six inches deep. Yeah, we marked there at 70 feet. We were uh, still out in the street where it transitioned. Uh, about six feet out in the road there. I've just marked with a white line showing the direction it's running. I was still getting a similar depth there of around six feet deep. And we're going to be doing markings about every 15 feet or so. 
All right, we are now in the neighbor's property. It's coming up. It's on their side of the fence line right now. Uh, again, this is the house directly to the right of this one if you're looking at the front of the house from the street. And we're about four feet or so into their yard at five feet deep on the dot there. Uh, so far, we have some we have very significant root damage to the line, um, but so far here, I'm seeing fairly good drainage. Um, and, I, and I'm talking about drainage as, as how, how the pipe is angled. I don't mean that it's draining well. The roots are blocking the whole lineup. Um, but anyway, when you if you are able to retain enough slope and grade, sometimes you can do a trenchless repair uh, instead of um, having to dig the whole thing up. All right, still coming through the neighbor's yard here. We're at about four, four feet deep there. My next marking is going to be at the Y connection. Again, we, we were able to contact the neighbors, the owner next door, and it sounds like we may not have water turned on to, to that house currently. So we may not be able to actually verify today if they're connected. But given the configuration where the lines are coming out and everything in the age of the home, um, it's, it's extremely likely they're connected together. And the fact that this line goes over onto the neighbor's property kind of says it all. So anyway, definitely look into that, contact the city and find out what they want done. Um, the entire line needs to be replaced out to about maybe six feet short of the main. All the rest of the pipe here, about 80 feet of it, uh, is shot with roots. Hey, we're still over in the neighbor's yard. Have put a big white Y marking down. We're about five feet from where uh, the neighbor's stack goes into the ground. So assuming they're connected together, we were able to scope almost the entirety of both sewer lines there because they connect, it looks like they connect pretty close to each other if they are to connect. Again, we don't know that for sure, but it's definitely looking that way. They had to move the camera about a foot or so when it was paused here to get a signal. Uh, it's passing through the, uh, the fence currently right now. We're almost smack dab under the fencing. And it looks like most of the pipe here bellied out instantaneously. So even, even this newer bit of pipe here right at the beginning needs to be fixed as well. Um, it's hard to say though. We have so much root intrusion in the flow line here. It could be the roots actually backing up the sewer line, not allowing it to flow. Um, that could be the reason for the standing water here. With, without the roots and everything gone, it's hard to say that. So I would just recommend correcting I, basically the entire sewer line from the foundation of this house all the way out to the main lateral, and then you need to contact the city and find out what they want done um, about the neighbor's house. It does look like they're party together and sharing a line that needs to be replaced. All right, I'm going to go ahead and reel the uh, camera on out of the line here. Yeah, it's all entirely mapped out with white paint. I highly, highly recommend a rescope after the repair is done to make sure it was done correctly. Uh, it's amazing how many full installations like this I've seen that have bellies in them and stuff like that. So you always want to double check the work. Anyway, starts here at the clean out, extends all the way over here, goes into the neighbor's yard, and then goes out to the street from there. So we have about 80 feet of pipe here. There's a the portion that's in the street may be the city's responsibility. Um, either way, you're still looking at between about 65 and 80 feet of sewer line to to get fixed. Um, and then need to check on whether that you can be you can leave it in its current configuration. It does appear to be party to the neighbor next door here to the right.